morning guys uh wednesday morning um woke up this morning to the sound of thunder lightning just going like crazy um with ice pellets so there's about three inches of the, this shit on the on the ground and it's like uh it's like walking on three inches of table salt and uh it's it's brutal the city's pretty much paralyzed again everything a lot of things are shut down buses aren't running schools are closed a lot of businesses are closed so this is the second time in a week we've been uh kind of paralyzed but uh you know so i looked at the uh at my shovel and uh weighed the options and i decided to uh lean it against the uh bumper of the square body jump on it snap it in half and throw it as far as i could into the backyard so uh yeah i don't have to shovel anymore this winter i'm done so uh anyhow uh it's not going to stop working here though there's all kinds of stuff to do so uh yeah, might as well just get to her, man. Okay, so I've sprayed my guide coat on the hood, and uh, it's ready to sand. I didn't really see anything uh, as far as dents or high spots or anything when I sprayed it. But uh, I did see deep scratches because it was a pretty coarse grit that I block sanded it with uh, the first time. So, uh, yeah, we're mostly looking at filling in scratches and uh, sanding them out. So, and then over here, I did my uh, guide coat on the cab as well. And this spot here has been giving me fits since I started this damn truck. I just haven't been able to get this just perfect. I mean, it's just got a little bit of a wonky twist to it or something. Um, it was schmucked really good right here. So, uh, Anyway, I'm working on it, and I think I've got it pretty freaking close, but uh, we'll see once I uh, spray it in primer. It really shows up when it's in wet primer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and block this uh, block this stuff out, and uh, yeah, then I'll pull out the fenders and get those done too. All right, so uh, a lot of guys have been questioning me about this about the guide coat, what, what it does. Uh, I've kind of explained it before, but I guess I didn't do a good job because uh, I'm still getting asked about it. So I'm going to explain the guide coat. I'll move the camera around and show it one more time. And uh, hopefully I do a good job explaining it and uh, people get it. So yeah, I'll just set up the camera and real quick and we'll go over it. Okay, so I'm going to show you on the hood. Now the hood started off looking just like these doors, all right? Light gray primer, and uh, yeah, all good. So here's the hood. Adjust this down. So I think you can see that pretty good. You can see how it's light here. I've already sanded this. It was darker gray like this. Now that darker gray is just this stuff, okay? Just a cheap spray bomb of primer, and you just give it a light, like a duster. That's it. Okay. So now what that gives you, just what it says, guide coat. It guides you on how far you have to go to sand it. So I'm going to sand on it just a little bit until it's all uniform, light gray like so. But before I get to that final stage i'll stop in the middle and show you why the guide coat so i'll just do a little area here again you're in an x pattern
Hey, right, see what we got here. So, I'll see if this shows up on camera. I hope so. I'm going to take it off the stand. Yeah, it's showing. So, see how it's lighter gray, except it's a little bit darker here, a little bit darker here, and then there's some scratches in there that are still showing up dark. But uh, these dark spots are low spots. They're the same color as this, the guide coat you just put on. So you keep sanding until these disappear, guiding you and how far to go with the sandpaper. So, yeah, we're just going to carry on until it's all looking like this, light gray. And uh, then we know we've got it nice and, and flat and, and smooth. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the guide coat. So I hope I did a better job explaining it this time, but uh, now you got it. And, you know, you get a can of that primer um because you're just doing a light dusting like that it lasts a long time it'll be enough to, in that can to do the whole truck so uh yeah there we go i'm just going to carry on all right so i'm done sanding the hood and this is the same area that i showed you a little while ago no uh no little black spots all one color so uh it's good all the way around uh, i did have one little spot that's uh that's a bit low, and that's right here. See that dark one? That's the same color as the guide coat. It's pretty deep, so isn't it? Like, not deep, but it's not going to sand out. So I'm going to need just a little touch of filler in that one spot, and that's it. The hood is, uh, you know, one more, one more coat of primer, or one more shot of primer, I should say. Three coats, wet sand, and she's ready for paint along with the doors. So that's good. Uh, now I'm attention or have my attention focused on the back of the cab because uh, i got to bring this up to the same level of paint readiness, I guess you could say, um, as the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to finish sanding this off and then I'm going to do something with this seam here and I'll show you that after I'm done sanding. But uh, yeah, moving right along. So I'm, you know, I want to get the back of the cab sprayed again and, uh, you know, ready to sand again. And that'll bring it up to wherever the rest of the cab is at. The front of the cab is pretty good, the uh, the cowl. So it's the back that needs the loving. And uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at. All right, so I'm done blocking the back and the cab corners. You know, it's way, way better than the first time I sanded it. Uh, there's way fewer spots like this, and they're much smaller than they were. Especially in the cab corner, I mean, the whole thing was yellow um so came out not bad but uh, there's one thing i want to take care of and that's this seam right here these are actually two pieces the roof slides over top of the back panel and if you look here i don't know if you can see this i'll try to get close to it see in some spots it's kind of rough looking and the gap is different here and there i want to seal this off because if you're going to have a problem with your paint good chance you could get a bubble or something from here because you don't know what the kind of crap is in between these two pieces so i'm going to uh, set up the camera and uh, i'm gonna seal that up with uh, some cocky show you what it's all about all right so i'm gonna caulk this so i only need two tools a caulking gun and uh, a wet rag so a lot of guys say, well, what are you going to use to uh, seal it? Seam sealer? No. Um, the reason for that is seam sealer will do the job, but it's a bitch to clean up the excess. I'm going to use a exterior grade latex caulking um, type you'd use around your windows on your house. Uh, it washes off fresh with soap, warm soapy water, but in two hours it's waterproof. Um, it stays flexible so it doesn't crack and I've used it before on uh, <clears throat> drip rails and stuff like that and I've got one well a couple jobs out there they're eight nine ten years old and they're still holding up so it, it works um, anyway I'm just gonna do a little section at a time and because I've cut the tip off huge <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger at a time and just do a, 
a few inches. Squeeze it right up in there. Okay. See how easy that cleans off? I screwed myself, I gotta let that dry first. <laughs> some air. my eyes on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. So you can't do this with seam sealer. It just doesn't, uh, just doesn't work like this. There we go. So we'll go ahead and do the same on the rest of it, and uh, then we're gonna let that sit, set up, and uh, in the morning it'll be ready to prime. Easy. Okay, so there we go. We're done all the way. Nice, clean line. And that's sealed up. So tomorrow, um, that'll be dry. I can prime it and block the whole thing all over again. If you're wondering what the end game is here, uh, I want to get the cab, all the priming done on the cab, and have it paint ready on the exterior. Then I can go ahead and paint my dash and the area around the back window with the interior color because when I'm doing the interior color I'm also going to do the underside of the hood in that same color and I've got to do a little bit around on the uh, inside of the doors as well so you know I'm just trying to organize it so that I'm shooting one thing at a time and uh, once the dash and the 
the, the interior stuff is painted, I'm going to cover it right up, mask it off, and, and seal it. So uh, better off to have all the priming done before I, I throw the paint on there. So that's the plan. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to carry on. So fair amount done today. Not bad. And uh, we'll just keep at it. Oop, i got to clean that off. Keep at it and uh, keep on trucking, man. All right, done right around all the way. And, uh, you know, it's just a nice, clean, black line, nice and straight, um, sealed up good. So in the morning, um, you know, I'm ready to prime this thing again. So uh, the caulking will be uh, dry for sure. It says two hours, so tomorrow morning should be perfect. And uh, we'll get a, another three coats of primer on it and get ready to block it all over again. Um, you know, you can see it's nice and clean looking. Don't have all that chewed up shit in there, you know. So feel much better with it sealed. And uh, if you're wondering what what the plan is here, what the end game, basically I want to get the cab exterior priming done, so it's ready ready for wet sanding and paint. And then when it's to that stage, that's when I'm going to go ahead and paint the uh, area around the back window and the dash, uh, you know, this color. And while I'm doing that color, I also want to get the underside of the hood. And there's a little bit on the doors that I need to get on the inside as well. Same color. So, you know, I'll, once I start on one color, I, I want to stay with it and finish it off. I don't want to have to bounce back and forth and all that kind of stuff. And if I go ahead and paint, like this is paint ready now. If I paint it now, I got to keep it sealed off for your each coat of primer. And again, for paint and whatever. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. This way here, just go at it. Keep priming it until it's done. I figure it's going to need to be blocked two more times. So, uh, like I said, I'll prime it in the morning. Block it again tomorrow night. And uh, prime it again. So, we're getting close though. I still plan on picking up the paint on Monday. Oh, another dusty day, a dirty dance. <laughs> anyway, uh, so in the morning, like I said, I'm going to prime the back of the cab and, uh, and the top of the hood. Finish those off, then the hood is paint ready, pretty much. Um, yeah, it's it's moving along pretty good. Uh, you know, there's still still have the front fenders to do one more block sand. So once I, after I'm done priming the back of the, the cab, I'll get on uh, blocking those front fenders again and get those paint ready as well. So it's all coming together, and uh, pretty soon I'll have the whole cab and front clip paint ready. I'm talking a couple of days here, so. Yeah, paint is a must on Monday. Like I said, tomorrow's Good Friday, so everything up here is closed and nothing open. So Monday it is. Um, yeah, I found some wheels and tires for this thing. Uh, I'm hoping to go see them this weekend. Um, I think they'll work out perfect. They're 17s, brand new rubber, uh, nice looking rims. Uh, so I'm gonna take a look at them this uh, this weekend, maybe Sunday. Um, depending on what this guy that's selling them has going on the weekend, you never know. Easter weekend could be anything going on. But uh, see if I can go check those out. Maybe uh, maybe score the wheels and tires for this thing. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, new subscribers, uh, good bunch again. Thank you very much. And uh, you know, I really appreciate uh, whenever I get a new subscriber. Uh, it, it, it pumps me up, keeps me going. So, uh, you know, please subscribe. And uh, don't be afraid to leave comments down below. I try and answer all of them. Uh, I don't think I missed too many. If I have, sorry. But uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I've covered just about all of them, even if it's just one of these, you know. <laughs> the lazy comment. But anyway, uh, it's all good. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to keep on, uh, keep on going with this uh, sanding stuff and getting it out of the way. It'll be nice to get some paint on this thing and be done with sanding for a little while, you know, because uh, I've had my fill again already, and it's only been a week or so. But, uh, you know, when that's all you're doing is sanding and priming, it gets to you. It's, it's a drag, man. <laughs> anyway, if you're not doing anything else, get out in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.